I want to talk to you about parallel lines being cut by a transversal and this is what we're starting with today and I just wanted to go ahead and kind of preview all this before we get started. All right, so parallel lines would be these two lines. We're going to consider those parallel. What it means to be parallel is these lines can keep going for forever and never touch each other. As long as they keep going straight in their straight lines, they will never touch each other. They are completely parallel to one another. This distance will stay exactly the same the entire time. The transversal is the line that crosses those and it creates these intersections. What happens when you have a transversal going through parallel lines is you end up creating angles that are going to have relationships with one another. And, and that's what we're talking about today. So the way we are going to categorize these angles, um, there's, there's different terminology that we're going to use for those in naming the, the angle pairs and relationships. Uh, first of all, any angle that is between the two parallel lines are going to be known as interior angles. So I'm going to go ahead and write interior. Because interior means inside. Anything below this parallel line and above that parallel line, um, out, of, out of our parallel set here, anything above this line and below this line would be the exterior because they're on the outside of the parallel lines. So this is the exterior side and that's exterior. So one and two would be exterior angles, seven and eight would be exterior angles, and then all these uh, angles inside the parallel lines are interior angles. The other thing we gotta talk about is our transversal. If two numbers are on the same side as the transversal, so like six and four or eight and two or eight and four and six and two, whatever, any of the numbers that are on the same side of the transversal are named, known as same side angles. Uh, and it could be on this side as well. As long as you've got two angles of the same side, they would be same side angles or consecutive angles in some regards. Um, if they're on opposite sides of the transversal, then those are alternating angles. Those are alternate angles. Um, so if I had a seven and a four, they're on opposite sides, uh, which that's not really an angle pair that we would look at, but still, we would have, so let's say we had two and seven. Those would be alternate exterior angles. One and eight would be alternate exterior angles. And then let's say we had four and five, that would be alternate interior angles because they're on alternating sides of the transversal and they're on the interior. Three and six would be alternate interior angles. So I'm just going ahead and write out some of these examples of what we have. All right, so these are the ones we've just mentioned. I've got alternate interior angles, three and six, and then four and five. And then alternate exterior angles would be one and eight, and then two and seven. Now, the thing that's important to remember about these is any of the alternate interior pairs are going to be congruent to each other, and any of the alternate exterior pairs are also going to be congruent to each other. So if I had the value of the angle of 8, say it was 130 degrees, then I can look and I already know that angle 1 is going to be also 130 degrees. Those are going to be alternate exterior angles, and they're going to be congruent to each other. 7 and 2 would also be congruent to one another. So if that was 130 then seven would be 50 degrees because this is a linear pair that makes 180 degrees. 180 minus 130 makes 50. So I'd have 50 degrees here and 50 degrees there because this one and this one's going to be the same. They're going to be alternate exterior angles and they're congruent to each other. Other sets of congruent angles would be the corresponding angles. And that's just the ones that are in the same position. So whatever position I have down here in this intersection, the same angle and the same position up here is gonna be congruent. So if I had my five here, it's gonna be congruent to one. Those are corresponding angles. They're in the same position, just at different intersections on the same transversal. 
So if I had three, then seven would correspond to that, and that would be equal, or congruent to each other. Four and eight would be corresponding, and then also two and six. So let me write that out real quick. All right, so now I've got all my corresponding angles listed to, uh, listed here together. Um, and like I was saying, all of our corresponding pairs are going to be congruent as well. So right now we're looking at all these different types of angle pairs. We've got the alternate interior, the alternate exterior, and then our corresponding angles that we just talked about. Any of these angle pairs are going to be congruent with one another. Okay, so one and five is congruent, but then five is also congruent to four because it's alternate interior. Um, it seems like I'm throwing a lot at you, but I promise you I'm not. When we get regular numbers thrown in there uh, and you can see values, you'll be able to see the pattern. It's a very, very clear pattern that's happening here, um, and we're going to get into that. But we also got to talk about consecutive interior angles, all right? or same side interior angles. We have same side interior angles. Those are gonna be supplementary to each other. So they're gonna add up to 180. So within this, we have four and six, and then three and five. Well, our same side exterior angles, two and eight, and then one and seven, those are also supplementary. That means they add up to 180. Uh, another example of something supplementary. We got a linear pair here. Two and four is gonna be supplementary to three and four. And then we still got our vertical pairs that are congruent to each other. There's a lot of different angle relationships we're going to talk about. Um, today, we're going to focus mainly on alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, and then we're going to do same side interior today as well. And I went ahead and listed with this the same side exterior. So any of these pairs, we have the same side interior, they're going to be supplementary to each other. So four and six will add up to 180. Three and five will add up to 180. 1 and 7 add up to 180, and 2 and 8 add up to 180. And that's as far as we're going to go with it today. I just want to make sure everybody understands the relationships and what these angles uh, pairs are called. Alternate interior, alternate exterior. We have corresponding, same side interior, and same side exterior. You will need to know what all those mean. Remember, alternate means opposite sides of the transversal, so one on the left and one on the right. And then interior means on the inside of the parallels. Exterior means on the outside. And then, of course, same side is going to mean they're on the same side of the transversal. And then corresponding angles are going to be in the corresponding positions from one intersection to the next. Um, I know you probably didn't get all that all at once, but when you do your lesson today, you can watch this video. You will have to name some angle pairs. And then you'll use the next part of the video to do, well, I'll do a separate video. We'll do another video with the values.